Hello, everybody. My name is Louis. I'm an English teacher, and I'm here today to help you improve your IELTS vocabulary. So um, I think it's helpful in this lesson to have a notebook. And when we get to the vocabulary, it'd be good to write down the words, okay? So that's all you need to prepare for this. Um, I think we'll just begin. So let's go. Today's agenda, we're going to be talking about words related to these three concepts, addition, equation, and conclusion. So addition is like this plus that. The most common addition word is and, but we're going to be learning a lot of other words that you can use. If you don't want to use and, you can use many other words. Equation is like this is equal to that, equal. So we're going to be learning words like equally or in the same way, phrases like this. And words of conclusion. So this is like, therefore, to sum up, thus, we're going to be learning words like that. So we're going to do the overview of the vocabulary, and then we're just going to practice using them in a fill-in-the-blanks exercise. So basically, the goal of this session is to give you the opportunity to review words that can be used to link and expand upon ideas, as well as to conclude thoughts. Uh, these words make your spoken English sound more professional and polished, okay? So, let's begin. These are all of the words we're going to be learning today. And some of them are phrases and not words, but I'm just going to read them all and you can follow along. And this would also be a good time to write these in a notebook because we're going to need these words later on. So, along with, also, and, as well as, besides, correspondingly, equally, furthermore, in addition, in brief, in conclusion, in the same way. Likewise, moreover, similarly, thus, therefore, to conclude, to summarize, to sum up briefly, we can conclude that, what's more. All of these words can be used for one of the three functions, addition, equation, or conclusion. So if you haven't wrote these words down, please pause the video and do that. And here's the chart which uh, tells us what category each phrase or word belongs to. You can see the words in the addition category. We all use and all the time, but maybe you want to use um, a different word. I can say, I like coffee and tea. Or I can use all of these other phrases. Okay, I can say, I like coffee. I also like tea. Or um, some of them you have to put at the beginning, like besides. You could say, besides coffee, I also like tea. Or in addition. In addition to coffee, I also like tea. Or you could say, I like coffee, and moreover, I like tea. So there's a certain way to use all of these words. And I recommend that you look online. Go to a website called Word Hippo. H-I-P-P-O, it's like a dictionary, but it shows you examples of how to use the word. So if you go to word hippo and you type in besides, it'll give you a list of like probably a hundred sentences that shows you how to use it. Because we just don't really have time in this lesson to really go deep into each phrase. You can see the words of conclusion. If you want to finish a paragraph or a thought, you use one of these. You can say, to summarize, I like coffee and tea. So this is after you've been talking for a while. Then you say this. You can say, in brief, these are the drinks I like, or something like that. An equation, these ones are difficult. Uh, it's meaning that two things are kind of the same, right? So I could say that dogs are very sweet. Similarly, cats are also sweet. Um, I could say, I like coffee equally 
as much as tea. And uh, in the same way that dogs are sweet, so are cats. Likewise is also uh, like this. Um, dogs are sweet. Likewise, cats are very cool as well. So it's going to be more helpful to see a real sentence. So let's go on to fill in the blanks. The first one, okay. Tourism brings much needed money to developing countries. It provides employment for the local population. What kind of word should we use here? Should we use addition or equation? Um, well, sometimes you can use both, but I'll just give you an example. We can use addition, okay? Tourism brings much needed money to developing countries. In addition, it provides employment for the local population. Tourism brings much needed money to developing countries. Correspondingly, it provides employment for the local population. Okay, I'm gonna try to think if, see if you can use any other words in there. And um, if you leave a comment with your sentence, I'll let you know if it's correct. Okay, so the next one, the blank is at the beginning of the sentence. So that limits our options. We can't use and here. Uh, we can't use also. Those words are usually in the middle of the sentence. So what we're gonna do is use Besides, okay? Besides bringing much needed money to developing countries, tourism provides employment for the local population. You can also use in addition to. In addition to bringing much needed money to developing countries, tourism provides employment for the local population. So I used uh, addition phrases for the first two. And the third one, we're going to use equation, okay? Tourists should respect the local environment. Likewise, they should respect the local customs because these things are equal. Respecting the environment is equal to respecting the local customs. You could also use equally. You could say equally, they should respect the local customs. Can you think of another word that we can put in there? Well, you don't have to think of it. You can just check your list. I hope you have uh, written down all the vocabulary in a notebook. Okay, the next sentence, um, blank industrial waste, pollution from car fumes is poisoning the environment. So here I would use along with, an addition word. Along with industrial waste, pollution from car fumes is poisoning the environment. Um, the next one, in order to travel, you need a passport. Blank, you might need a visa, immunization jabs, and written permission to visit certain areas. Uh, I would use an equation word here. 
I would say similarly, because needing a passport is equal to needing visa immunization. So we can say similarly, you might need a visa immunization jabs and written permission to visit certain areas. Or we could also say likewise. This is a good place to use likewise. Okay, now drugs are banned in Britain. Blank weapons such as guns and knives. So I would also use equation here. I would say likewise weapons such as guns and knives. Um, so this is a really just a good place for likewise, okay? In not every sentence can you use all the words. The words have different functions. And this is why, as I said before, you can search on word hippo to find a lot of examples of these, of these uh, words, okay? Here's the last one. All power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Um, I would use addition here. I would say all power corrupts. What's more, absolute power corrupts absolutely. You could also use equation. Like I said, there's places where you can use both. So you could say all power corrupts. Likewise, absolute power corrupts absolutely. You shouldn't smoke, drink, take drugs, or eat unhealthy food. Now we're going to use a concluding phrase. I can say, to sum up briefly, you should live a more healthy lifestyle. Another example, you could say, therefore, or thus. Thus, you should live a more healthy lifestyle. And let's look at the uh, final example. It says, the ozone layer is becoming depleted. The air in the cities is becoming too dirty to breathe. And our seas and rivers are no longer safe to swim in. Now we can use a conclusion word here. Um, in, to summarize, pollution is slowly destroying the planet. We could say, in conclusion, pollution is slowly destroying the planet. We have one more example. Your grades have been very poor for the past two years. Blank, you need to work really hard if you want to pass your exam next month. This would also be a concluding phrase. I would say, therefore, you need to work really hard if you want to pass your exams next month. Sorry about that. Okay, so can you think of another conclusion phrase to put here? We have therefore, thus, in brief, to summarize. Okay, now we're just going to look at some ways to practice. I've already mentioned some of these, but there's a couple more. So first, you should write the vocabulary in a notebook. I find that writing often helps me to uh, crystallize my memories. And then look online to find examples of the vocabulary in sentences. I mentioned the website Word Hippo. Word Hippo is really good. And then you can write your own sentences using the vocabulary. Use the examples on Word Hippo as your guide. You can write in the same format. And finally, try using the words in your spoken English. So do you have a friend or a colleague or language partner who you can speak to? Try to have your notebook with these words and try to use them when you are talking to your friend. And uh, I'm going to be making more videos uh, about this IELTS vocabulary. This is only lesson number one. So please support the channel. Um, you can subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. I really appreciate feedback, and I will answer your questions in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, good luck studying.